Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving deep into something that affects many of us, but not everyone understands fully histamine. If you've ever experienced an allergic reaction, digestive issues, or even felt foggy-headed for no reason, histamine might be the culprit. So in this video, we're going to break it all down, what histamine is, how it works in the body, how to know if you have histamine intolerance, and of course, what foods to eat and avoid. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete understanding of histamine and how it impacts your daily life. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into health and wellness topics. Let's get started. Histamine is a naturally occurring chemical in your body. It's a biogenic amine, which means it's a molecule derived from an amino acid, specifically histidine. So, it's made by your body from the food you eat. But here's the thing. Histamine isn't just a random molecule, it's involved in a ton of critical processes in your body, especially when it comes to your immune system. Think of histamine as a kind of alarm system that goes off when there's a threat or something your body needs to deal with. It plays three main roles in the body. 1. Immune response and inflammation. This is probably the most well-known role of histamine. It helps your immune system fight off bacteria and viruses. When you have an allergic reaction, histamine gets released from mast cells, a type of white blood cell, triggering the classic symptoms like swelling, redness, and itching. 2. Regulation of stomach acid. Histamine also helps your body produce gastric acid. This acid is crucial for digestion, breaking down food in your stomach. So, when you eat, histamine plays a role in ensuring your digestive system functions smoothly. 3. Neurotransmitter in the brain. Here's something many people don't know. Histamine also works in the brain. It helps regulate your wakefulness, keeps you alert, and plays a part in memory and learning. Now you might be wondering, if histamine is so important for the body, why does it cause problems? Well, too much histamine or a sensitivity to histamine can cause some serious issues. 1. Allergic reactions. When your body thinks a harmless substance, like pollen, pet dander, or certain foods, is a threat, histamine gets released. This causes your blood vessels to expand, which results in inflammation. And that leads to common allergic symptoms like runny nose, sneezing, itchy skin, and swelling. 2. Asthma and respiratory issues. Histamine is also responsible for tightening the muscles in your airways. So when you have an allergic reaction in your lungs, it can lead to wheezing, shortness of breath, and coughing, which is why histamine plays such a big role in asthma. 3. Skin reactions. Another classic symptom of too much histamine is hives or itchy rashes. If you've ever had a sudden allergic reaction, you might have experienced this. Your skin can become red, swollen, and itchy, and in some cases, blisters may form. 4. Migraine headaches. Some studies suggest that histamine can trigger migraines or headaches in sensitive individuals. This is because histamine can dilate blood vessels in the brain, causing discomfort. Okay, so here's where things get tricky. Histamine intolerance is a condition where your body has trouble breaking down histamine properly. In a healthy person, enzymes like diamine oxidase (DAO) break down the histamine that your body doesn't need. But if you have a DAO deficiency or an imbalance, histamine can build up in the body, causing symptoms even without an allergy. Histamine intolerance can mimic the symptoms of allergies, but it's not actually an allergic reaction. Instead, it's more like your body just can't keep up with all the histamine it's exposed to. This can cause headaches, fatigue, bloating or digestive issues, skin rashes, nasal congestion, anxiety or irritability, since histamine also works in the brain. So it's not always obvious whether you have histamine intolerance and it's something many people don't realize they have. So, if you're dealing with histamine intolerance or just want to manage your histamine levels better, your diet is key. Let's break down which foods you should eat and avoid. Foods to avoid. 1. Aged cheeses like cheddar, gouda, and parmesan. 2. Cured meats such as salami and prosciutto. 3. Fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, soy sauce, and miso. 4. Certain fish including tuna, mackerel, and sardines. 5. Alcohol, especially wine and beer. 6. Tomatoes, spinach, and eggplants can also be triggers. These foods are either high in histamine or cause your body to release more histamine. Foods you can enjoy. 1. Fresh meats like chicken, turkey, and fresh fish. 2. Low histamine fruits such as apples, pears, and melons. 3. Fresh vegetables like carrots, cucumbers, broccoli, and zucchini. 4. Grains such as rice, quinoa, and oats. 5. Herbal teas like chamomile and peppermint. Sticking to fresh, unprocessed food is really the best way to keep histamine levels low and reduce symptoms. 
Managing histamine intolerance isn't just about diet, there are other lifestyle changes that can help too. Let's talk about a few strategies that can make a big difference. 1. Enzyme Supplements Some people take Dow supplements to help break down excess histamine. These are available over the counter and can be a good option, but talk to your doctor before using them regularly. 2. Stress Management Stress can make histamine symptoms worse. Things like yoga, meditation or just taking time to relax can help lower histamine levels. 3. Proper Food Storage When you store foods, make sure they're fresh. Leftovers can cause histamine to build up. Freezing your meals can help preserve their freshness. 4. Hydration Drinking enough water helps your body flush out excess histamine, so don't forget to stay hydrated throughout the day. Finally, if you suspect histamine intolerance or if your symptoms are severe, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider. They can help rule out other conditions, test your Dow enzyme levels, and guide you through more advanced treatment options. Remember, histamine intolerance can be tricky, but with the right diet and lifestyle changes, most people can manage it successfully. Thanks for sticking around. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of histamine and how it impacts your body. If you're dealing with histamine intolerance, remember, a little change in diet and lifestyle can make a big difference. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or tips you'd like to share, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.